Good morning, welcome back to my channel. My new 30 ounce Stanley cup came in the mail and I love it so much. I didn't know that I could love a cup even more than my bigger 40 ounce one, but I do. I think this is sold out right now. I wish I could link it for you, but I really like it. I feel like it's a lot more of a manageable size. I mean, I love my big ones too, but anyway, happy Monday. I hope you had a good weekend. I had such a fun weekend. It was seriously a blast. Shane and I went to St. Louis and we went to three Cardinals games. Not planning on going to three of them. We were planning on two, but one of my like OG followers on Instagram has season tickets and she sent them to us for the night game. It was a double header on Saturday. So we ended up going to three Cardinals games and they won them all. It's really fun, but the Friday night one was such a blast, you guys. We had so much fun. We had really awesome seats. And then everyone we were sitting next to was also just amazing. So where we sat, there was this really sweet couple next to us. And when his girlfriend went to the bathroom, he was like, hey man, I'm gonna propose during the seventh inning stretch. Like, can you guys take pictures? He showed us the ring, it was amazing. And then sitting directly in front of us, there was this really fun couple who Shane somehow got to talking to him and then he saw his hat and he was wearing a hat, which if you guys don't hunt, which I do not, so I've never heard this podcast, but he has this podcast that he loves. I can't even think of what it's called right now, but he loves this podcast. And he told this guy, he was like, oh, hey, like, I love your hat. Like, do you, do you listen to them? And it was the guy from the podcast. And it turns out that Shane actually follows him on Instagram. It was just because they were sitting in front of us. So it wasn't as easy to tell like who they were initially, but it was just so funny how it all worked out. We talked to them pretty much the whole time. Shane got his number. We ended up hanging out with them the next day before the next game because they were going to that game too. And it's just funny how life works out. Like, it's just so weird. So I'm not a huge baseball fan. I like baseball. I just don't really keep up with it a ton, but I do like it. I love going to baseball games. I will never say no to a baseball game, but I'm not a super big baseball fan. This piece needs curled a little bit. Holy loud trash. Shane is a big St. Louis Cardinals fan. I'm kind of indifferent. I just decided I can root for the Cardinals, but I'm from a Cubs family. Like I was really excited when the Cubs won the World Series several years back, but um, Shane said that's a crime. But Albert Pujols, if you guys don't watch baseball, then you wouldn't know. If you do watch baseball, you definitely know because they're talking about it all the time. But he hit his 698th home run while we were there. And it was amazing. The place was going wild. It was so cool to watch. Um, he's trying to get to 700 home runs. So it was just really, it was a very entertaining game. The whole weekend was just great. It's so funny. Every time Shane and I get to go somewhere alone for a weekend, we're like, we just genuinely, we really enjoy each other's company. Which is a very good thing when we're married, but it's really fun to go somewhere and enjoy just being Marissa and Shane and not mom and dad. So it was, it was a good time, but I didn't take my camera along. I didn't want to work while I was there. I think I posted Monday, Wednesday, Friday last week. And obviously I'm not filming until Monday today. I don't know when you'll get your three videos this week but you will get them two more weeks of three videos to go let's get this out of the way run to Costco and stock up on a bunch of the girl snacks we need toilet paper just all the random things from Costco and then if I have time I need to run to Target for just a couple things like a waste basket for this half bath I need to hit the road because I live almost an hour away from Costco and it's already nine o'clock and so when I get home I will do a Costco haul for you so let's go I just got to home goods which was not in my original plan today but I really need not need I really want a new soap dispenser for the half bath and a wastebasket, like I said. The wastebasket that I had in my head is from Target and it has a little lid on it, but if I find one here, that would be good too. Trying to plan my day out. I think I'm good. I need to be on the road back home by probably 1.15ish. I have three hours to get all these errands done. I should be good. I just really take my time in Costco. I feel like I'm in there for two hours every time I go. So uh, we're gonna run into Home Goods quick and see if I can find a soap dispenser. Just a soap dispenser. That's what I'm here for. So grabbed my pumpkin cream cold brew for the week. This is the only one I'm gonna have this week and I have learned my lesson and I started getting a tall. The last couple times I've gone, I've gotten a tall and it's been perfect. So growth. I didn't take my camera in, but I didn't find anything that I was looking for in Home Goods. And then I ran over to Target and I got exactly what I needed. And only things on my list was the waste basket I was going for. I think it's really cute. And I think it was 20, 20 bucks maybe. I can't remember, but it's exactly what I wanted for the little half bath. And then I got a soap dispenser. I'm sweating. I need to turn my air up, but it's just this little amber 
soap dispenser. I to take my sunglasses off because my lighting is being weird, but the other thing that I wanted to get while I was here was a Lazy Susan because I want to put a Lazy Susan in our medicine cabinet, put like vitamins and any medicines in here, and we can just spin it around. I feel like it all gets shoved in that cabinet and I can't find anything. They have a Lazy Susan in my cart on Amazon. I think it was like $14 or something, and then I found this in the dollar spot for $5. So I added that to my list today. It wasn't actually on my list, but it's been in my head, so it counts. It was only $5. And the last thing is just two packs of JoJo Siwa Band-Aids because we are all out of Band-Aids and we have to have Band-Aids in our house. So that's everything that I got from Target that I actually needed from Target. And now I'm sweating, I'm sorry, this is loud. Um, now I'm gonna run over to Costco and get all of those things and we're doing good on time. It's only 11.15 so I have plenty of time to spare. I've been home for like 25 minutes, but I have a headache, so I just laid down in my bed for a little bit. I need to go grab the girls, and when I get back, I will show you everything that I got. It's a lot. We're home, and I am gonna show you everything that I got at Costco, but first, I'm gonna put this wastebasket in the bathroom. It's so cute, I really like it. I mean, it's a wastebasket. Let's not get carried away here, but it is, it is really, Cute. Just using my Target bag in here. I don't buy separate inserts for my um, bathroom garbage cans. I just use bags I already have. So there we go. And then I bought this, but I forgot to get more soap for like refills and stuff. So I need to do that when I go to the store at some point this week. So this is gonna go in the bathroom empty. Hey, Stelly Bell, guess what? I got you more Jojo Siwa Band-Aids. They're just Band-Aids, baby. <laughs> Lucy's running down here. I got more Jojo Siwa Band-Aids, Lulu. Okay. That's what I said. <laughs> I got everything back out of my fridge and my freezer so I can show you what I got at Costco. I spent $400. That's the most I've ever spent at Costco. It's a lot of money. Stocked up on things that'll last us a long time, so hopefully my regular grocery budget will go down from doing this. I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you everything that I got. Here is a little overview, and I'm just gonna start over here and work my way over. 36 of these Danimal smoothies in here, and I don't usually buy these, but they were on sale for like $11, I think, which I feel like is a total steal. I'm gonna see if my sister wants some of these for her kids, because 36 is a lot. Every time I go, I buy one of these baby spinach packages. I'm just gonna freeze like most of this and then keep some in the fridge for smoothies and eggs and stuff. Got a big thing of eggs. These we have never had before. They're called the Fruit Thief. I'm not sure. I thought the girls would wanna try them for their lunches. Um, I have no idea what they are, <laughs> to be honest, but they looked cute. I love every style of pasta in here. I bought this a couple times, so I needed to restock that. Both girls really like pouches in their lunch boxes, so I grabbed a pack of those. And then this is another thing that I buy every time I go to Costco. The girls love these Z-Bars. I like them too, actually, and I eat them sometimes, but they are a way better deal at Costco than they are like at the grocery store. Grab the big box when I'm there. There's 36 in there. Got a two pack of Dave's Killer Bread. I love Dave's Killer Bread and I am just gonna throw this one in the freezer. Random, but Stella loves olives and I saw this big container of them, so I got those for her. This six pack of Scrub Daddies was a really good deal. I think it was like $10. And I usually spend at least three on one of them. A big bag of tortilla chips and then this really giant bag of these extra cheddar cheesy smiles. The girls have never tried these before. I thought they'd be good to try in their lunches. Big, giant package of string cheese. Then my very favorite part of Costco is these chicken street tacos. I myself just craving them sometimes. They're amazing. So if you haven't tried them before, definitely try those. Then we're gonna try the meatloaf. I've heard people say the meatloaf is good. So this is a meatloaf, that's kind of blurry. This is a meatloaf and mashed potatoes. This is another one of our favorite meals. It's a chicken stir fry. It's a little bit more expensive. We always have leftovers, so it kind of ends up to be two meals. I get those 
to um, have some easy meals this week. I got this big package of tomatoes. We go through so many tomatoes, we all love them, and we eat them like apples, we're savage. So we got some of those, and I restocked our big pack of Annie's mac and cheese. I like to just have this in the pantry, because mac and cheese is Stella's like all-time favorite food, so I like to have it just in case. We've never tried these before. I've seen a few people talk about how good they are. Got my hands on them, so I figured those would be good for the freezer just for you know, again, easy meals. And then I need to do this other frozen stuff really quick so I can get it back in the freezer, but this is just an organic three berry blend for smoothies or like the girls oatmeal or anything. Our favorite chicken that we have to get every time we go. It's so good in the air fryer. It takes like eight minutes in the air fryer and then I put it over salads and the girls like to eat it. It's just the best chicken ever. We love it. To restock our giant bag of whole green beans. I like to have this for an extra veggie with meals and they're really good and the girls both love them so that's a win so I'm gonna put this stuff in the freezer and then I'll show you the last few things we're on the home stretch I have never tried this calm before I've heard a lot of people talk about it but I have not been sleeping the best the last few weeks so I thought this would be good to give it a shot this was $19.99 and on Amazon it was like 24 for like four less ounces so I decided to try it out um, I'll let you know what I think of that, but I've, it had so many good reviews on Amazon that I wanted to give it a shot. I needed to restock our paper towels. This thing is huge and will probably last me like nine months because I'm trying to use reusable as much as possible, but sometimes you need a paper towel, so I needed to restock that. These two things are expensive there, but they last us a really long time. Okay, you look a little crooked, but the last thing I got was these pants that I'm excited about. Old jogger pants. This is the back. Hi! And they're like a pretty cute olive green color. And I don't know, I just thought they'd be good for throwing on to like take the girls to school or something. They just look very comfy. I think they were $12.99, but they're so soft. And I'm excited to try them out. So that is the last thing that I got. Also got a big giant dish soap that I left in my car. So I need to go outside and grab that. I don't want you to think that me spending $400 at Costco is like the standard in my life. It's definitely not. We just needed a lot more than usual. So there we go. I'm gonna put it away now. Okay, I got all the cold stuff put away. There's smudges all over my glasses. Anyway, the cold stuff is in the fridge and the freezer, but I did not finish putting away everything else. My head is pounding. I cannot get rid of this headache. I took my contacts out, hoping that'll help, but every time it's that time of the month, which it is right now, unfortunately, I always get a bad headache. Lucky me, today is that day. I woke up with it, kind of. It was just like a little lingering headache, not a bad one, but then um, when I got home from Costco, it got way worse, and it's still not better yet. So I'm gonna lay here for a few minutes. The girls are entertained, and Shane should be home anytime. I guess I should find out when he's gonna be home, but I'm just gonna lay here for a few minutes and try to get rid of this because it's driving me bonkers. <sighs> it's so annoying. All right, I feel a lot better now. I laid down for like 10, 15 minutes and then I got up and I made myself some of these chicken street tacos and I feel good now. So it's just a mix of hormones and hunger apparently, but girls are outside playing right now. Super nice outside, but my neighbor is mowing, so you probably can't even hear me, but I'm gonna do the dishes quick while the girls are entertained. And then I think that I'm gonna go work out when Shane gets home. Good job, did you do the hopscotch? Good job. Uh, clearly I am putting off doing my dishes. Dishes are hands down, without a doubt, my least favorite household chore. I just don't like it. I think it's gross. I try to keep up with them so it doesn't get very gross, you know, but um, we didn't do them yesterday because yesterday was football Sunday and we don't really do anything on Sundays during football season. We just kind of hang out and especially since we had just gotten home yesterday from being gone for the whole weekend. I have last night's dishes and all of today's so far. So I got some work to do. The girls are entertained playing with chalk in their scooters and doing hopscotch. On the verge of tears watching the girls play outside right now. Again, it's just an emotional week for me. I'm a mess, but also because I just know that the cold weather is coming. Um, I think we have a couple more days of warm weather then it cools off a little bit, but I just know what's looming over our heads and the winter is so hard with kids when you live up north like we do. It's just so hard to entertain your kids and I'm like not looking forward to that because they're so easy just playing outside right now. Hi baby! I love you too! Mwah. 
Okay, I'm gonna stop dilly-dallying and get this done, but yeah. <laughs> All right, it's a while later now. I ended up just going on a walk instead of going to the gym. I didn't feel like driving all the way over there. What? But I went like two miles. Girls are playing school. Shane's outside with one of his friends and... I made a test for school. Nice. I'm gonna sit down and watch some football and fold a load of laundry. So that is my evening. I played at school. You played at school? Yes. Who'd you play with? Um, yeah, and Rowan. Lexi and Rowan? Yeah. That sounds fun. Hey. What? It's bedtime. Okay. Are you tired? Yeah. Good. You wanna go get some pajamas on? Um, yeah. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Are you mama's girl? Yeah. Good. I love you. Hey, Lulu. Are you mama's girl? Just making sure. <laughs> Hi. Hi. What are you doing, mommy? What are you doing, mommy? What are you doing? Lucy's getting some pajamas on. It's your turn. Lulu, can you bring Stella down a nightgown, please? No, let me do it. Okay, never mind. She wants to do it herself. Never mind. 